President Trump does not appear to be worried about a possible recession, tweeting that the economy is strong and trying to ease fears about that trade war with China. Terry Moran is at the White House with more on all of that. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Amy. Those are President Trump's two basic responses to all this market anxiety. First, it's okay, and he's blaming the Fed. For months, he's been hammering Fed Chairman Jerome Powell for raising interest rates, and now he's demanding that those rates come down faster and farther. Uh, he says that if they hadn't been raised, everything would be hunky-dory. Second, and this is a bit of a contradiction, he's trying to dial back that trade war with China. For all of his tough talk on China, this week the president blinked. He postponed his latest round of tariffs on China so that consumers can spend freely during the Christmas season, a sign that he knows that these tariffs can slow down the economy. And looming above everything, the 2020 campaign. The president also knows that the worst thing that can happen to him politically is a recession. Since the Civil War, only one president has won re-election if a recession has happened in the last two calendar years of his term. That was William McKinley back in 1900. So there's a little bit of history hanging over all this. David. We always appreciate the history as well. Already a major campaign issue. Terry, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.